What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are going to continue work on the 944 race car, moving that Volkswagen 07K 5 cylinder swap closer to completion. We're going to be doing the fuel system as well as plumbing the oil cooler. I am going to learn how to build AN fittings, hoses, AN things. Stay tuned. I actually started this project last week uh, and then my kid got sick and I got sick so I didn't get to finish it. What I did do was install this Mishimoto 10 row oil cooler. Basically I welded some steel plate to the bottom of the radiator support and drilled holes for the mounting ears and just attached it right there. It lines up pretty decently in the holes in the bumper for airflow but now we need to run our dash 10 AN lines from here all the way over and around the core support, through the engine bay, away from the accessory drive, and to the two male fittings right there on our oil filter adapter. I got my first line made up off camera to make sure I didn't do anything too stupid, and it turned out really nice. So now, I'll show you what I did. I'm gonna start the process of making this next hose uh, by putting the male fitting on one end. This is the fitting that goes to that uh, oil filter adapter. To do that, you disassemble the fitting and you want to take your hose and shove it into this end of the fitting. This piece that has the barb on it right here, this is the second part. So this piece doesn't have the barb. You push that on and you make sure that you get the hose seated all the way down. You can see it right there, right at the base of the threads. Once you have that done, and I learned this trick by watching one of the videos from the guys over at Speed Academy. Throw a piece of tape around the base of this so that as you're assembling the fitting, you can see if the hose pushes out for any reason. So go ahead and stick that in your vise. I'm using all vibrant fittings and hose and these uh, vise jaws. I got from Earl's, all this stuff I bought from Summit Racing. In order to ease insertion, you'll want to put a bit of lube on there. Marvel Mystery Oil is what I'm using. Push that down under the fitting and you can start threading it. Grab your AN wrench or a crescent wrench, tighten her down. Make sure your hose didn't come out at all. And that's it, pretty simple. With that other fitting mounted, and the hose ran the way I want it to, I can come back and measure the exact length that I need. Put the piece of tape where I want to cut the line, and then we take it back to the bench, cut it, throw this 90 on, and it's done. I'm cutting this hose with a cutoff wheel, which probably isn't necessary being the nylon hose, but it makes quick work of it. Having the tape on the ends leaves a real nice edge with no frays. Very important. Same deal as last time. Oh, one other important step. Make sure that you flush all of these hoses out before you assemble them on the car for the final time. More lube, ram her home. That hose is done. We'll install this and the oil cooler will be finished. On to the fuel system. That, my friends, is getting dangerously close to me looking like I know what I'm doing. Up top, the ran. It's not gonna be an issue to clear the accessory drive. I am, however, gonna have to get a P-clip to hold these up to the frame route right here. Also, those of you guys that have been following along with the 07K build, notice anything different in here? That's right, the prototype cast aluminum intake came in. It needs just a little bit more work. It's got a little bit more casting flash and stuff than we think is acceptable for the finished product, but that's because this is the prototype and they did a rush job to get it to us so that we could hopefully get it on the dyno in August. It is super promising. Like the oil cooler, I already mounted the fuel pressure regulator and I did it right back here on the firewall. It's really the only decent place I could find in this engine bay. This fuel regulator is from Aeromotive and basically it's a three port regulator. This is your inlet right here. I've got 180 degree fitting coming off of it. On the bottom is your return. I've got a 90 for that. And then here is your supply to your engine and I've got a barb for that. The 07K fuel rail uses a barbed fitting for the fuel inlet. So I just decided I'd use that for the fuel pressure regulator as well. And I'll show you how the 
fitting for the end of that looks here in a little bit. But I'm gonna start with my supply line right here. Luckily, the standard 944 fuel lines come out of the fender well right here, and I had already upgraded to dash six AN lines. So I'm just gonna modify these, and then I only have to mess with one end. This is my return line. Actually, this is the type of fitting that's gonna be used on the fuel rail. So it's really just a worm clamp with like a decorative cover, but it works just fine. So I'm gonna get this thing measured and cut and installed. Boom! That is done too. Probably gonna have to put some sort of thermal barrier on here, some heat tape or something with the headers right here. Common 944 issue. But everything's all plumbed up, including the line goes around under the intake manifold and pops back out right here and into the fuel rail. I'm gonna have to be a little careful right here. I mean, there's there's room. It's not gonna be an issue unless I throw a belt. I may need to think twice about this. Regardless, I've got enough line here that I can come up and over if I want. Uh, I just really didn't want it showing if possible, but anyway, that'll do for now. Lastly, I have this Moroso oil catch can that I need to install. This uses a Dash 10 inlet, uh, the breather box on the valve cover and the breather port on the oil block are also Dash 10, which works out great. This didn't come with a mount, but if you remember back to one of my recent exhaust videos, I had this sweet little stainless hanger for my three inch exhaust and I didn't use it and it just so happens to work perfectly for this catch can. So I've already found a cool little mounting solution Let's do that. Here's my setup. I've got my catch can down here in the driver's side front uh, area of the engine bay. There is a spot below it where I can drain it, which is awesome. And it's got, like I said, a single dash 10 inlet. However, I have two things going to it. The first being where this line's running to, which goes to the oil block. And the second is here off the valve cover. So I have a Y so that I can go two into one. I've already got the Y mounted to here. I have done my measurements for this line. So I'm gonna cut it, throw the fitting on here and assemble these two now. Another piece of the puzzle finished. That's done all the way back there. I got this piece ready to go. I just need to build the hose to go over here, unfortunately, I am out of hose and don't have that fitting. You know what that means. This episode has come to an end. I'm gonna finish my beer here and head on home. It's almost midnight. Uh, but yeah, we're still just chugging along on this 07K build. That's pretty much all of the plumbing besides the cooling system, which we still need to do. This was a big step in the uh, right direction. Next time you see the car, we will 100% be putting the upper oil pan on, clutch, flywheel, and installing the engine permanently in the car. From there, as soon as we figure out the cooling system, it goes over to Performance Electronics, they throw the swap harness on, the ECU in, and we get to dyno tune it. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching. We've had a ton of new subscribers off of this build. Really appreciate everyone following along. It's been a lot of fun. Looking forward to uh, hearing this thing fire up. See you next time.